topic for today is uh, Indian monsoon. It's a very vast topic, but uh, here we'll discuss some basics of this topic. So today we are going to discuss the topic Southwest monsoon. And here we are going to discuss some of the points like what is monsoon, how the monsoon is formed, its characteristics mm -hmm. and the branches of southwest monsoon. So first, what is monsoon? As you can see, the monsoon is a seasonal change in the wind system okay, from land to sea due to the difference in the temperature. So here in the picture also you can see the winds are blowing from sea to land during the summer and from land to sea during the winters so basically this is a reversal wind system formed over the indian ocean this point is with regard to the formation so you can see differential heating of land and sea will lead to the formation of monsoon winds as you can see in the picture the land is quickly getting heated up whereas the uh, uh, sea still takes time to heat it up so it is because land is opaque in nature whereas the sea is transparent in nature and low pressure develops over the land high pressure develops over the sea so winds will blow from high to low pressure during the summer months central india receives direct rays of the sun which less led to the development of low pressure now this low pressure gets more intensified because of the uh, easterly jet streams which we have done in the previous video whereas sea will be in the high pressure condition and hence the wind will start blowing from sea towards the land okay now this wind which are blowing from sea towards the lands are termed as monsoon wind now the third point characteristics of monsoon three main characteristics it has wet and dry spells it is irregular and the arrival and the retreating time as well as this is unevenly distributed sporadic in nature now the fourth point branches of monsoon winds now this is divided into two types the one which entered from the arabian sea is arabian branch and the one which enters from the bay of bengal sea is termed as bay of bengal branch now let us discuss about the southwest monsoon and its branches first one as you can see here i have already prepared the diagram so the branches of uh, southwest monsoon now the why it is called southwest monsoon the first question the southwest monsoon is because it enters india from the southwest direction the state uh, the um, state of uh, Kerala okay it enters from the southwest direction so it is termed as southwest monsoon and the monsoon which occurs in our country is of orographic type of rainfall now orographic means relief rainfall so you can see I have already drawn most of the important relief in our country like the Himalayas the extension of Himalayas Arakan Yoma in Myanmar Aravalli mountains Satpuras Vindhyas as well as your um, Western Ghats, uh, then the Purvachal Mountains over here, okay, Garo, Kasai, Janta Hills, uh, as well as your Naga Hills, Mizo Hills. So this relief plays a very important role. Now Southwest Monsoon, two branches, Arabi Arabian Branch and the Bay of Bengal Branch. Now Arabian Branch enters from the Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal Branch enters from the Bay of Bengal Sea. Arabian Branch, there are three different currents, first current, second current and third current. Bay of Bengal branch they have two different currents first current and the second current so when the rainfall starts in our country it will be the month of June okay now let's start with the Arabian branch so the first current it enters or it uh, comes towards the India from the uh, southwestern direction and it hits the western Ghats area now this western Ghat areas okay the western slopes of western Ghat receives maximum amount of rainfall but whereas on the other side when the winds descend from the top of the western Ghats, okay this area falls under the rain shadow zone so the state of tamil nadu andhra pradesh they fall under the rain shadow zone now the second current now here you can see the narvada and tapi river which is there which creates an std or uh, like trough in that particular region a gap so from there the second current of the arabian branch enters hits the satpuras and the vindhyas mountain and shower rainfall on the central part of our country now similarly the third current also moves from the same trough as well as the coastal areas of gujarat 
and it uh, will move along uh, uh, like a uh, state of Gujarat as well as passes to the state of Rajasthan and goes to the foothills or the Siwalik mountain range and showers rainfall in the Himalayas or the foothills of the Himalayas then why not in why not in Rajasthan it's because of the presence of Aravalli mountains which is in a vertical manner which makes the winds to move parallelly to the Aravalli mountains now in case if Aravalli mountain was mm -hmm. present in this region in this area means a horizontal manner then the winds would have been checked and shower like rainfall would have occurred in Rajasthan maybe Punjab Haryana would have been mm -hmm. a desert but it is in this uh, case it is not like that because the Aravalli mountain is not present in a horizontal manner it is present in a vertical manner which makes the uh, current or the third current moves in a um, parallel manner to it now the Bay of Bengal branch. Bay of Bengal branch divided into two currents as I already said the first current and the second current. The first current enters India from the Sundarban areas as well as the Bangladesh area okay and when it enters it hits the Purvachal mountain basically in the state of Meghalaya what happens is the mountains which are present they are present in a funnel shaped structure. Garo, Kasai and Jainta Hills, they present a semicircular manner. So when the winds enter those areas, okay, they get strapped inside that funnel shape structure. There is only inlet, no outlet, no outlet for the winds. So maximum amount of rainfall occur in these areas because more winds get trapped. As a result, the Cherapunji, Mount Sinram areas of this region uh, receives the highest rainfall in the world. Now the second current enters from the northeastern part of our country, the uh, state of uh, sorry, state of Nagaland and all. Now how it is possible is because the second current enters the um, uh, second current enters mm -hmm. Myanmar. Okay. Now as you can see, I have already drawn the extension of Himalayas. Also, the Himal doesn't end in Arunachal Pradesh. It moves down towards the south. Okay, uh, and creating a L shape structure, and it is called Arakan Yoma in Myanmar. So when the second current enters the Myanmar, state showers rainfall over here also, and takes a curve over here in the state of Nagaland and unnatural Pradesh. So why it is so is because of the cornering of this winds because of the L shape structure okay L shape structure of those Himalayas. So when this uh, like winds enter like the Purvachal mountains will block some of the areas and it like move forward towards the western part of the country and it will shower rainfall in both the areas by the time when it reaches the state of uh, like the areas of Delhi, Punjab, Haryana and all like it will become very uh, devoid of moisture it will become devoid of moisture it will contain very less amount of moisture and by the time when these two different branches meet with each other it will be the first week of July or second week of first or second week of July okay so in this way the branches of southwest monsoon cause rainfall all over our country.